As per Blackhead, the initial feeling was essential when somebody was new to the gathering, and these folks were stunned by what he'd done a little while ago. His main objective was to leave a psychological picture of his solidarity in their minds, and disposing of the principal troll was the most effective way to do this. With that solid kick, the troll's body was pushed a few meters away. Then, RMC took the blade that the beast was getting a handle on. Beside that, there was another significant thing he expected to get in his mind. He really expected to show the troublesome flies areas of strength for how he was to keep them from overpowering him. That one got the holy messenger relegated to their gathering's consideration, which as of now seemed entertained by what RMC had displayed. With no other choice, Dark Zade needed to play out somewhat before everybody. In a moment, the two trolls who surged towards him were sliced. Now, other players were interested to be aware, assuming Blackhead was really a spy or some likeness thereof. They likewise observed his moniker to be really great, and they contemplated that maybe these were the most fragile hordes they might have confronted. In light of the fact that RMC had shown his solidarity against the trolls, a couple of them grew careless, accepting that they would likewise experience no difficulty overcoming these beasts. Anyway, that soon changed on the grounds that one troll had the option to move toward this specific player. The previously mentioned most fragile crowds crushed them with a solitary assault. Finally, the reality of their problem set in. They truly shouldn't have loosened and figured they would have the option to get by here, and everyone began to disperse and escape for their lives. As the troll was killing that person, Armik had a top at what the others were doing. Among the things he named as the good tidings of Fiery Blaze was this scene. No one could at any point confuse this for a game any longer. As of now, individuals were thinking just about something single, and that was the means by which endurance was conceptualized. The light-hearted people at the head of the pecking order had become objects of recognition. When one saw this risk, one's most memorable sense was to escape carelessly. Dark Grass Cutter recollected that he had made a similar blunder the past time, and he didn't at last find some peace with the brutal reality until the subsequent relapse, and that was that an individual could never escape this aspect, regardless of how quickly they ran. This lady had no clue that there was an imperceptible wall keeping them from moving away from the trolls. By then, she ground to a halt and thought of her options. This situation served as a reminder for contemporary society since innovation made everything easily accessible to them. Their natural tendency to kill other living things was basically non-existent. A couple of them would be hesitant to take their first loss actually. Rethinking yourself in this game could end up being deadly because it could offer the beasts the slimmest chance to switch the situation and launch a counterattack. After a brief time, some of the individuals have gone beyond what is acceptable, yet things remain desperate for them. The Heavenly Messenger continued entertaining himself by watching the battle. Despite the fact that trolls are only somewhat larger than youngsters, players would still struggle to overcome them, especially when they attack in groups and wield blades. Anyway, since most of the individuals were having difficulties, she saw a particular individual, and the dark side was that she began to wonder why this human was acting this way. When the holy messenger kept an eye on him later, he found that RMC had already killed 70 trolls. She became bothered on the grounds that the framework could show this player's advancement to her, neither more nor less. Anyway, she decided to disregard the issue since she didn't think an honorable like her might want to watch out for a few ordinary citizens. The battle with these animals continued. Furthermore, a player would get experience points and objectives each time they crushed a troll, which would raise them to a higher level. Ultimately, in regards to MC's progression, he has now wiped out seven trolls, and he continued to exhibit his exceptional abilities while dodging each weapon the troll was tossing. Now another crowd was charging toward him. Anyway, the knife of the Dark Sea struck all of them with a quick and strong push. The blood of the beasts presently stained this person's hand, which made a couple of them back off from going after and approaching him. Anyway, RMC persevered in the attack without offering any genuine kindness. It only took one strike to take them out. As he looked for additional trolls to kill, his eyes became really threatening. Darkseid likewise saw, yet again, that the trolls were getting some distance from him. As of now, he contemplated that he could utilize this chance to enjoy some time off. First, as no one was going after him, he checked that he was presently at level 4 by taking a gander at his status window. 
he has an additional six detail focuses too. A player's step up would grant them two extra detail points, and RMC applied fully to his nimbleness detail. The justification behind that was that this detail would accelerate his movement and assault, as well as increase his evade rate. Initially, nothing matters more than nimbleness. Darkseid then contemplated that, given his ongoing pace of progression, the Holy Messenger would without a doubt see him. He considered the most effective way to wrap up the principal mission. Then, somebody tossed one orbiting blade, landing it on one of the trolls. Again, addressing the trolls, RMC asked whether they would genuinely cease from going after him. The trolls kept on remaining where they were, so this incitement ended up being inadequate. Blackie let out a moan after understanding this. He knew that he genuinely didn't have a choice. But RMC unexpectedly moved to vanish from his spot to get the blade he tossed on this troll. This person had already taken care of business across this gathering of trolls, it took these beasts a few seconds to acknowledge what had happened. Anyway, they were confronted with this horrendous round slice as they pivoted. They were undeniably separated in half. For RMC, killing the troll bunch has gotten it done. He progressed to another level. He was likewise educated by the framework that he had finished the essentials for the first mission. Then, a side of dark light encircled it. This demonstrated that he was done. Armik accepted that this was how things had always been. In the main round to stand out for the Holy Messenger, he only had to work a little harder. The framework then complimented him for completing the journey in their assigned zone first and for being the primary individual to do so. Moreover, Dark Sickle won in front of the pack in each zone. He burned through 10 minutes and 21 seconds in all. This person was smiling with satisfaction since he had accomplished rank 1 once more. The fact that every mission would have a prize for the top three players will exhibit the value of this lowest rank. An uncommon weapon selection coupon was his award for finishing first in his assigned zone. In regards to the award for coming in first place across all zones, RMC got this extraordinary prize selection box. These things would without a doubt guarantee a significant advantage over other players, and Black City decided to use the weapon coupon first. The following uncommon weapon list he could choose from was shown to him by the framework. He felt embarrassed on the grounds that he had continued using these substandard weapons, yet he was still thankful that he had these at first. After that, RMC made a choice, and the stiletto was the weapon of choice for him. This was viewed as the best beginner's blade that anyone could hope to find. It likewise has an additional spryness detail and an assault force of 15. RMC threw the knife he had taken from the trolls. Subsequent to getting the thing, he planned to open the other rewards sometime later. Furthermore, the trolls continued to chase different players while Blackie was busy exploring every one of the prizes he had gotten. This time, when RMC checked his status window, he saw something else. This man was making reference to the moniker Last Time Regressor, which he had recently been given. In his 99 attempts, he accepted he had seen nothing like this. RMC had additionally utilized his rune when they were approached to use it back then, and the rune he got was the rune of relapse, the same rune he got the first time around. This was what had brought him this far. The rune quickly left his body after utilization. The blunder that the rune was getting was the main thing that had changed since he knew that he couldn't travel back into the past endlessly. RMC had guessed this. Furthermore, the rune has confirmed that this was the 100th relapse that stood out for Black City. He also acquired the moniker, Last Time Regressor. Right now, titles are regarded as superordinate ideas in this game. Only at the 100th relapse of a particular individual could the Last Time Regressor be gotten, and it would enable the user to spend a moment in soul form. The user's well-being could then be restored upon his resurrection. Whenever from there on, he then recalled that the ability to miraculously come back to life must be viewed as a religious capacity. All things considered, only 30% of their well-being is restored. RMC contemplated that the title he was given this opportunity could really come in handy, and approaching something like this might work out great for him to dominate the game this time. Blackie went with the choice to place this title in private since it was extraordinary and gave off an impression of being very uncommon. This setting will protect this information from view by some other players or substances. With the supposition that different players who completed the mission ought to show up presently, Mech held out his hands. He was likewise inquisitive about Yannin's prosperity. 
He saw this person who was luckily hanging on as he checked out. Then, Blackie predicts that young men will likewise endure this cycle. A couple of additional minutes after the fact, there are numerous brilliant lights in the whole region. The holy messenger kept on noticing, smiling as she concluded why she viewed the front line as a little dull. It would appear as an ever-increasing number of individuals figured out how to kill 100 trolls. The general troll populace has really diminished. The energy of taking on a multitude of beasts had evaporated. Then, this heavenly animal communicated her lament for her disappointment. She guaranteed everybody that she would bring back the pleasant. Her harsh comments carried different survivors to tears. They comprehended that this would be dangerous. In the interim, the dead players' bodies have begun to vanish. This has been seen by additional individuals who have addressed why it is happening. Furthermore, another splendid light had been called forward while they were stressing over their partners and companions. Interestingly, there was no assurance of salvation. When one saw a brilliant light, another flood of trolls has begun to charge. The player's dread was now put on their faces. These were already exhausted from the last gathering. The heavenly messenger let them know that she had just filled 50,000 additional trolls so these people could eat, while by and by uncovering her crazy face. With no other choice except for to battle, different players stood up to them head on. The open, tranquil fields immediately slid into savagery. Beasts attempted their hardest to do their piece of the mission. Anyway, players all the while ground their teeth and figured out how to get by. As time continued, an ever-increasing number of individuals were completing the mission. Jan was likewise shown, despite the fact that he protected himself from the trolls' passes by involving others as safeguards. In the midst of urgency, extreme activities were vital. There were only 1,000 more members. Black and Brown Nose just stayed there and shut his eyes. The whole time he had become burnt out on this scene. As of now, since this was his 100th game, passings from the game had been a typical event. It was illegal for previous members to help the individuals who were still finishing the mission. This holy messenger had continued to view it as entertainment. After a brief time, RMC opened his eyes. This happened because of their notice that all five dead 143 members had already completed the mission. These sad individuals likewise figured out how to live, but they couldn't dispense with 1,000 trolls. Where had all the beasts gone? They pondered. As she declared that the mission was over, the heavenly messenger captured their entire attention. She then started expressing her regret to the unfortunate public, explaining that what was going to happen was just according to the game's standards. Their bodies also started to fade. These folks would eventually die, some realizing they just had to kill a few more trolls, begged for another chance. Anyway, their cries went unanswered. At the end of the main game, this sacred being applauded. She shared with the survivors that they should all feel relieved that they had endured. She praised the surviving people while laughing. She also sent them her best wishes for success on their upcoming mission. Before the player's departure, the mission's results were shown. It was Mech who defeated all comers. In regards to other players, each of them has a captivating moniker. The system declared that Blackie had succeeded. He will also get 1,000 gold in addition to the two previous rewards. After receiving the gold, Meek was informed that once he achieved level 10, he could use the money to purchase certain merchandise. He also saw that more eyes were now deflecting from him, and that was his plan. He wanted to demonstrate to everyone that he is the primary. The holy messenger then interrupted, saying that she never figured the individual who would be ranked first would be within her usual range of familiarity. Then, she turned to face Blackie and asked him to answer her inquiry. This being addressed whether he had been given an area of strength and how he became so strong. She interrupted herself before she could ask more questions, realizing that this was a mistake. Then, Blackie ridiculed her and asked if she could look at his status window to see his force. The holy messenger lied about this information to leave dread. She acted like she could see the rune that was given to Mctu. Anyway, the person who just smiled at her and avoided answering her questions was the only one who knew that this was just a vindication. To improve things, Blackie moved toward her and requested some help. The holy messenger was starting to feel more and more whimsical in this situation. She was unaware that this man had spent 99 years in the same conditions. Then, raising his head, Meek expressed his disappointment with the prize he got for completing this mission in the lead position. 
He said they were too parsimonious. Everyone in the area was shocked by his statement. They were stunned that someone would even consider requesting extra compensations from this savage holy messenger. As expected, the holy messenger's attitude soured when she examined me concerning what he had just said. Anyway, even briefly, this scene didn't cozy dark side. He even consented to state exactly the same things he had said before. He leaned toward greater incentives. This holy messenger was slowly becoming disturbed with MC's pompous attitude. Yet, these two just stared at each other. In everyone's subconscious, panic was already setting in. Regarding this holy messenger, she questioned whether the fact that he placed first in the mission meant that this human already thought less of her. She found it unimaginable that a mere human would dare to set certain expectations of her. Then, as she prepared to explode him, she lifted her hand. But she stopped when she realized she had just used that authority before. Subsequently, she would not be able to kill RM. As she gazed at the dark sickle, another thought entered her mind. She knew that this should be adequate to eliminate him. The holy messenger continued repeating his demands as she moved slowly in MC's direction. She even got down to walk on the earth. She explained that, ordinarily, requests like that would be turned down immediately. Anyway, she told Blackside that she would consider it, and that would mean having private discussions. They could wait for them to return while others carried on. A few of them congratulated Blackside as they moved farther apart from the others. His celestial moderator truly made the arrangement. They were now curious about what kind of rewards he would get next. And young men were among those looking at MC's back. This person saw the look and gave it back. This baffled the young fellow who questioned whether he was missing something. However, then happily, Ma continued to walk. These two have already moved quite a distance apart from the other players. Meanwhile, now they were in the forest. The holy messenger then ordered Mick to move closer to her because she was getting tired of asking if he was still with her. She was already deriding people in her subconscious. She believed that this race needed to be chastised in order for them to appreciate it. She also called them absurd and insatiable. And since she wasn't even the one who set the prizes, she contemplated as she was walking that there wasn't really anything she could do about them. Furthermore, she planned to teach Dark Grasscutter since she believed that he had grown too greedy. The area where the system failed to get them was directly behind that stone. So, when they reached that point, she wanted to kill him. The Holy Messenger knew that if the authorities found that she had killed a member for her own reasons, there would be repercussions. But she was simply too upset to do anything right now. Moreover, she isolated Mick to ensure that there would be no observers and that this would really be an ideal arrangement. This holy messenger was so eager that she was smiling dartled. She believed that this individual should have just stayed quiet. She then turned to check the MC. She also asked about the kinds of rewards he expected to get. Anyway, when she gazed at Dark Grass Cutter, all she saw was a fist traveling very rapidly toward her face. The well-earned blow had been delivered just as expected. I had been waiting for a fundamental hero like this. An example should be taught to those who showed an attitude, no matter their status as heavenly messengers or even gods. In a moment, this sacred being became heavenly. She arrived at the understanding that, according to individuals, she was not so strong and amazing. As of now, when she saw the brilliant blood that arose out of this, her appearance obscured, she addressed whether anybody had the daringness to contact her. She twirled around to accept the alternate way when it was clear. Anyway, no one is following her. She had previously neglected to focus on the dark grass cutter. RMC simply had to show up briefly to amaze the heavenly messenger. Side the dark held onto one of her wings, and the holy messenger was right away frightened by this. She knew about the thing planned to happen. She actually shouted out and requested to understand how this human planned to treat her. However, and still, at that point, she beseeched him to stop. Also, the main issue was the means by which Heartless RMC was. He poured the wings as though they were fragile, showing that he had no respect for her. The holy messenger was in such a lot of agony at that point that she almost dropped, and brilliant blood splattered everywhere. As the blacks tore it considerably more, have any of you seen a winged heavenly messenger? It's as simple as that. He gave her a harsh look and advised her to quit being such a complainer. Dark side the forged ahead, grabbing up one more wing. The heavenly messenger shouted as he pulled this one again. Now every wing was finished. 
Blackie commented that she would no more have the option to pursue. This is the holy messenger hurt by this feeling. He asked too. She normally answered with a yes. It felt like her body had recently lost an appendage. Ormic then, at that point, unveiled that she would have been the one representing these sorts of questions. In five additional minutes, had her arrangement succeeded, she would have been chuckling. The holy messenger then, at that point, endeavored to disprove these declarations, proclaiming that he had freaked out at that point. The disguised blade underneath the wings was uncovered by Dark Sickle. He stated that this holy messenger would have utilized this weapon to betray him, and RMC checked the holy messenger's goals. When she became quiet, yet she continued endeavoring to arrange right out of the situation. Then with a grin, Blackie illuminated her that he could guess by the expression all over that she didn't actually have to lie. He called the holy messenger Beryl too. When Beryl heard this proclamation, she became befuddled. She then asked regarding how RMC knew her name. This person, anyway, just answered that she wasn't exactly needing to realize. He pulled his as of late gained knife from the capacity region. At a similar second, Beryl went ballistic when she saw this. She addressed why RMC had unexpectedly taken out his weapon. She then, at that point, took steps to utilize her expertise to blow RMC's brains out. She said that all it would take was an easy task of her fingers to destroy things for him. Anyway, Dark CI was at that point mindful that she was presently not ready to utilize the said expertise since she had recently utilized it. This was likewise the cause of his expanded confidence. As far as it matters for her, Boral could grind her teeth. Now she had no place else to turn. Anyway, this holy messenger continued attempting. She proclaimed that her partners would get payback on Dark Grass Cutter and that different heavenly messengers would be aware assuming she was killed. The main issue was that RMC knew that all heavenly messengers are narcissistic braggarts who don't give an about others' undertakings, and it wouldn't make any difference to them on the off chance that any of them kicked the bucket or not. She endeavored to convince RMC not to execute her as he was going to do so. She declared that he wouldn't acquire a single thing from doing this. Besides, Blackside would not be able to venture out back to his home. Anyway, as recently referenced, he was at that point mindful that these explanations were generally false. In regards to the last proposition, the Holy Messenger stated that she could give him every one of the information. This man expected to finish every mission. Except it wasn't exactly important for Dark Sickle. He had proactively gone over everything multiple times over, and the encounters had an enduring effect on him. Moreover, he might have essentially tormented her until she spat out every last bit of her insight, assuming that he had required data. Following the statement, the blade on RMC's hand struck her in the chest, stunning the holy messenger. This is an immediate admonition that individuals ought to practice intense watchfulness since they could commit errors when they pick some unacceptable individual. The second the knife was eliminated from her body, entombment dropped to the ground. Then a notice from the framework showed that RMC had quite recently vanquished a holy messenger. Furthermore, he was the principal player to make this move. He was compensated by being named the primary holy messenger slayer. Besides, two items showed up on his hands. Holy Messenger's blood was the name of one of them, and the Rune of Slaughterer was the name given to the Red Rune. Black applied the rune immediately, leaving an engraving on his body. Getting back to the title of being the primary Holy Messenger Slayer, this multiplied the player's complete details. Then RMC reviewed that during his 13th relapse, he had found out about the advantages of killing Holy Messengers. Interestingly, he claimed his revenge on one of them, and the articles emerged. In regards to the Butcher Rune, likewise called the Rune of Slaughterer, its impact was to build all details by 1% each time an objective was killed, up to 100%. Blackie smiled, recalling his freshly discovered belongings. Each prize was at that point equivalent to a solitary thing. He accepted that after discovering that he had proactively gotten another rune, different holy messengers would have been taken. Stomach muscle. His demeanor suddenly changed when he realized that he had killed Beryl for another explanation, and that was to get this item that had a brilliant gleam around it. This was the blood of the heavenly messenger. This consumable thing can possibly change the client into a collector. The player needed to meet a base level necessity. As the main essential at level 10, each player in this game can get a class. There are 30 unmistakable classes on the whole, 
and exchanging classes is simple. The main thing left for the players to do is get a class change thing. It's normally gotten naturally by hunting or meeting simple prerequisites. 